Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. We're so excited about this next story because we've already been chatting a little bit with our mm -hmm. next guest. We have so many connections to talk about. So a new movie based on a small Kentucky town is streaming right now on Amazon Prime. Yeah, here to tell us more about Maysville is the film's writer, director, and producer, Leslie Goya. Leslie, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit more about this film and where you came up with the idea and just kind of the premise of it. Um, well, Maysville is a coming of age story set in 1929 about a young boy's journey um, from childhood to adulthood. And it's the story, it's a tragic story of an accident that happens uh, between he and his best friend. And he is forced to pay a penance for uh, a tragedy. And after four years of hard labor, he escapes to the town of Maysville where he is um, finds a new life, he finds love, he finds a, a career, but he is soon hunted and haunted by his past. Mm. And it's a story of redemption, of self-forgiveness, and yeah. Uh, coming from Kentucky, what's it like for you being able to, to write and, and produce this movie based on where you're from, uh, although obviously set kind of in the past? Well, I think every single writer writes from something that they know mm -hmm. at least a confident writer writes from what they know so for me when i was writing this it really was kind of a, a journey for myself a, a reflection of myself and my own childhood things that i did as a child um we used to run and play on the farm we we climbed in the, the rafters of the barn we played with guns and we shot guns and it was just things like that that we did as children and taking those experiences and putting it into the story it kind of adds a little bit more of an element of truth and any any writer should write from what they know well speaking so of you know be being a writer you wore so many hats when it comes to this film i mean writer director producer is that something you want to continue to do with your career or is there maybe like writing is your true passion i'm, I'm so impressed by what all you do right here well when you're an independent filmmaker and you don't have a studio backing you you don't have those funds you do wear a lot of hats and it wasn't just me i do have a partner that was with me her name is michelle Engelhart, and she and i are the owners of hold your horses films and she too wore a lot of hats she was my unit production manager she helped with craft services you know she was producing she was getting our entrance and so the two of us between the two of us there was a huge a great partnership in getting everything done. When you don't have the financial backing, you are the one who takes on the responsibilities to get all of these other things that need to be done, done. And between the two of us, it was amazing how two women who have never made a feature film before really dug in deep and we proved that we could do it. It was hard, uh, but we did it, we did it. And it, it was quite the undertaking. How do you feel watching that final project right now and for your friends and family to be able to get on Amazon Prime and watch it, yeah. your film? That's amazing. It is, it is, it's a feeling of accomplishment. When I graduated high school at uh, Montgomery County High School in 1990, oh, that seems forever ago. Um, I said I wanted to become a filmmaker and I needed to get to the West Coast. So uh, I moved to the West Coast. I attended the University of Oregon. And after my freshman year of college, they cut the program, they cut the film program. So oh, wow. here I was on the West Coast and I had to figure this out. So I decided to drop down to a into theater, which is what I knew and loved. And I spent so many years in theater. And then my children became actors and they got agents and they were somewhat successful in um, uh, television and film. And uh, that's actually my son um, who plays the lead uh, at the young age. Young Teddy is played by my one of my sons. And being on film sets, it, it's addictive. You you want to be a part of it so bad. And I wanted it when I was young. So I finally made my first feature film. It just took me 30 years. Leslie, thank you so much for talking to us today. And now we are actually going to play the trailer for Maysville so people at home can get a look at what it's about. I got a jar under my porch. It's full of every change I find. One of these days I'm going to run off from here. 
I ain't never coming back. You can't leave me, Lily. You're my best friend. What will I do without you? No! No! Now, we are fallen blood brothers. Can nobody ever take us apart? said, let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to such they belong to the kingdom of heaven. Mom, it's Buck. He's got a gun. No! No! He is going to kill me. You afraid to talk, boy? Hey, you need to talk to quickly. I'll stop the pain, get the bleeding under control. If my boy has to sleep in the ground, you sure as hell can sleep on it. Mama? Where are you from, bro? I heard you got in the car with some young man yesterday and headed out of town. You spying on me, Daddy? Spying is such a harsh word. Oh, oh, it's freezing! <laughs> you are crazy. Little Lily. Some things are just worth waiting for. You know, Theodore, I have never held the hand of a woman after church or carried a child to his bed to tuck him in at night. Don't make the same mistakes I made, son. You're supposed to be dead. It's pretty late. Damn it, Daddy. Not spying on me again? Gentlemen, you remember Theodore Rogers? He was not a good man. Welcome to Maysville. Leslie, congratulations. That is shot so beautifully. Yeah. And that line, if my boy has to sleep on the ground, you can sleep on it. Ooh, I got chills <laughs> on that one. That was great. Made by Kentucky and set in Kentucky. And people can watch it on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. If I can just say one thing, just know that we are all thinking about all of you in Kentucky right now. We are sending you our thoughts. We are sending you our prayers. And I can tell you that I know if any community can bounce back after these horrific tornadoes. I know it is the people of Kentucky. Oh, Leslie, thank you so much. That was beautifully said. And again, beautifully shot movie there. Can't wait to see it. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you, Leslie.